Hey, you already know the vibes. It's your boy Shane Fisher, man. And I need all my vets and soon to be veterans. I need y'all to listen up real quick. So the VA warns Congress that benefits payments are at risk due to projected $15 billion budget shortfall. Oh, shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break this down for y'all so y'all don't have to read all these long articles with all this jibber jabber running around, jumping around. I'm going to break it down for you. So we all remember the PACT Act that was introduced last year, the bill that was placed into legislation. Well, if you don't know, the PACT Act, um, what it did was it added several medical conditions that weren't previously on the VA's list and allowed veterans to get compensation and free medical care for it, like radiation, Agent Orange, etc. right? Because of the PACT Act, more veterans are using VA disability and getting medical care more than they expected. So the VA pulled up to the White House and was like, yo, Congress, hey, shit, boy, we got a problem, boy. It was like, shit, boy, you remember that pack back? Yeah, 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 yeah. Great for veterans, medical care, all that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the pack back is going to leave us $2.9 billion short in um, disability payments this year. And uh, possibly $12 billion in uh, health care next year yeah 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 so congress was like why are you guys going to be short damn near 15 billion dollars the va was like shit boy you know when you told us to uh we needed to be down 10,000 staff we needed to cut 10,000 so actually we were we're up 20,000 yeah yeah we up 20,000 then the va was like whoa shit you know um that $193 billion um, expected uh, spending cap we talked about. Yeah, we slightly under that right now. Yeah, and we in the middle of the summer. So we expected to spend more than that by the end of the year, too. You know what I mean? And, and, and. You remember when the Supreme Court passed that um, veterans can get expanded education benefits? Hey, remember that back in, like, April? Yeah, so that's also going to go up. Those payments... For those that, that GI Bill for for that, yeah, those going up too. So there's roughly over five hundred thousand veterans that's gonna be expecting that check on October first. You know what I mean? Like the first of them, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, they might not get that motherfucker. That Senator Mike Bost was like, nah, 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 nah. Whenever the Pact Act was being introduced, we all expected. Increases in payments, right? Right? So you mean to tell me y'all didn't budget for that? And when I say budget, I mean cut ten thousand in your staff. So you ain't you ain't fired ten thousand people to budget to get that money to these veterans. See now this is a bunch of gimmicks. See, see, see the request and all that Ozempic, that Ozempic and those other drugs y'all wanted that raised the prices, my boy. Supply and demand. When y'all started requesting all of those drugs for those veterans, yeah, yeah, they raised the prices across the street. You see what I mean? Because we told you to cut 10000 Just 10000 I I look up. Y'all up 22000 22,000 full-time equivalent workers. What's going on? Then the VA looked over at the VHA and was like, y'all, why y'all hiring so many more? VHA was like, listen, bro, we only turn people down as a last resort. As of January, yeah. We already hired like 17,000. Like, they already working. Like, on the payroll already. And the rest of them, like, that other 5,000? Yeah, yeah, they, they getting interviewed right now. Then, the VBA was like, um, yeah, uh, whew. Yeah, we having a um increase in um disability payments as well. Yeah, I, I I should expect it to go up like exponentially high as well. Uh, just wanted to you know put that on the table too. Then the VA was like, so what are we doing by October first? Like with this whole fiscal year twenty twenty five budget plan. So Mike Bose was like, hey yo, y'all remember when y'all had that that system failure attack joint that went on this year? You know, from February to May 1st, when y'all had a backlog of all those disabilities and shit like that. Remember that shit? When y'all couldn't, like, 
file prescriptions and all of that stuff and get disabilities done. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, that's the reason why y'all y'all money so fucked up. We we're gonna blame it on that. VA was like, okay, I I I hear you. I hear you. VA VBA VHA. You hear? Him? Okay, we we all hear. Him. But what we do about October first though? So as of right now, there is no plan in place. So to all my vets out there and my newly vets who are out there filing your disability claims, those of you out there who's been receiving disability, going to school using your GI Bill, I will keep you guys updated on what's going on with this situation. As of right now, everything is kind of up in the air, but I'm pretty sure something will have to be done. If not, we're going to see a huge change in disability compensations, GI bills, and things of that nature come this new fiscal year, October 1st. Hey, this your boy Shane Official. I'll keep you updated. As long as we tracking.